What up? Today I'm gonna finally replace this terrible plastic area with a nice custom wood desk. So let's go on that journey. I need this to be sturdy and strong and heavy and heavy duty, you know? Oh, we're gonna stain the whole thing. I'm gonna stain the whole thing, wait a little bit, and then we're gonna clear coat it with this really nice clear coat. First stop is Home Depot. Here we go, our neighborhood Home Depot. Sandpaper, rags. ¿Qué pasó, señor? ¿Qué pasó, güey? ¿Qué pasó? Okay, you, you, you say a sandwich, right? Yeah, yeah, the bef breakfast sandwich. Potato. Potato, egg and cheese, egg. and one hot and one hot coffee. No sugar. No sugar. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's it. is gonna be the desk at one time I have this is heavy as hell dude the bottom has some two by fours right here make it nice and sturdy then one all along the back so it's nice and straight and this is some pretty thick wood right here and this is how it's gonna look here So if you imagine, this will be under that right there. So that will be the left side of the leg. So that's where we're at and we'll go from here. I'm gonna start sanding this thing. As you can see, these holes I filled yesterday and that's where all the screws are. So I wanted to have a nice flat surface. I don't want no screws showing up. You know what I mean? No sign of assembly, you know? It grew like this in the forest. Here's the thing about sanding. You have to always go with the grit. Sandpaper is actually categorized by a number, all the different numbers. So you start from 60, you go all the way up to 400, which is really fine. 220, 320, right? 400. 400 is so soft, it's like a baby's butt. Now, of course, you could do this by hand, like a dumbass. Or you could do it with a machine. Quarter size to fit the machine exactly. This is basically gonna be the finish. I don't care about all that. I should, I could resand all this, but you know what? I mean, this is a terrible job, but really I don't care because this is where the computer is gonna be and nobody's gonna see this. I've been wanting this table for so long, guys. You don't even know. It's like a dream come true. The materials were about 300 bucks. And then, uh, but I also had to buy stuff like sandpaper and, and then the labor. I worked on it yesterday for like six hours. Today it's gonna be another six or 12 hours. So it's custom. That's why it costs so much, right? Now we wait for this shit to dry. Well, 
this should be pretty dry by now. So let's keep going. sanded this four times this is the stain we're gonna be using today so the thing about stain is it penetrates the wood so if you think about it this way see this is your wood right and this is the stain once you get your stain into the wood you can't really remove it so the only thing you can really do is maybe sand it a little bit more but uh, once you go too dark, you can't go back. So I didn't want this desk to be too boring, so I decided to actually add a little bit of a shelf on the top of it, so it's gonna surround all my monitors. That's what's gonna be cut right now. See that? That's not good. When you have this much dust on there, you will fuck up your stain. So what you do here, what you want to do is wipe it up with some towels. This is what you start with. And then you get this other type of sticky towel that they sell at Home Depot. But you also want to wear some gloves because that shit is pretty sticky and disgusting. And you're going to stain anyway, so you want gloves, right? For stain. All right, kids, let's work. Sticky. You want to just wipe off the dust with the sticky stuff. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Looks like looks like diarrhea. Now if I wanted to go darker, I could coat it again. And then finally, clear coat. Not just any clear coat, guys. Triple X, extreme clear coat. Three layers in one, three coats in one, triple thick, easy spread, advanced self-leveling formula. Polyurethane. This is the good shit right here. What you want to do first though with this thing is to mix it thoroughly. Now that it's thoroughly mixed, we can open it. Look at that oozing. Oh yeah. Mmm. Alright, so. This is how it's looking so far. I got this, this top uh, thing here, like a shelf. I'm already realizing that this is gonna be hella awkward to use, but I kind of think it, it would be cool to have almost like shark teeth, these, these triangles coming up, and then these other triangles coming in, and then one triangle in the middle. It would resemble somewhat of like shark teeth, huh? What do you think? I don't care because I'm going to do it anyway. It's going to be the shark desk. This is all the teeth. Now we just got to cut it out. Now we're applying this uh, questionable material, which is the clear coat. It's nice and gooey. This 
right here is lacquer thinner. That's what you use to clean your brush. It's polyurethane, right? That's what you do. And then you drink it. We're in it for the long haul here. Um, still waiting for this shit to dry. It's been a couple hours. The sun's almost down, but we'll get it done, guys. So I've been getting super bored watching fucking paint dry, basically. So I cut some extra little pieces of wood here that I'm gonna put on the shark teeth as um, shelves. That's it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty much dry right now. It's dry to the touch. It's nice and smooth. Ooh, I wish you could feel that. It's nice and cold too. And I'm gonna take this thing uh, to the van. It's heavy as shit. Couple days later, but we're gonna show off the final product. This is the final product right now. Here's uh, an addition as well from Home Depot. It's like 60 bucks. It's just an LED light strip. It lights up the shark teeth, you know? Because these are the shark teeth that were put on here. And that's it. I cannot believe that this table is finally done. We'll see you in the next one. And I'm so much more productive so much more productive now. I just sit down and I feel like everything's just right on my fingertips. There's no more, there's no more crap on the table. This cutout is just like perfect, perfectly sized for me and I'm not a big guy. So it's, it's just perfect, man. There's really not much I can say. With that said, it's worth it. It's worth it. If you want to build a table, it does cost some money. It does cost some work. You do have to have some tools but it will be fully custom and it is worth it. so anyway we'll see you guys in the next video